Hey guys, Strike here, and welcome back to Teela Lands. Oh wow, there's a death counter. Oh, I just noticed. Oh, shit. I don't like that. Oh well. Well, now we are. Our current total time calculates by PBs. Oh, okay. That's also another interesting thing. Anyway, should I quickly do this again? I don't know. Nah, let's just hop into hour one. See how we go. Hopefully not too bad. Go back to the main menu while in game, press and hold, escape. Alright. When Teela the Jester finds you, he will growl if you look at him. Step back into another room to avoid getting attacked. The others do not growl, so do the opposite for them. Okay. Alright, let's see how this goes. Okay, we got him. Okay, healed up. So let's see. Okay, we still survived though. I don't know what happened there, but we survived. So that, that's all that matters. I'm still confused, but we survived. We still survived, so who cares? I'm still so confused with this game. You can take control of anything. An ability far more powerful than any other. Ooh. What does that mean? Oh, Cutscene. Well, I don't know what that cutscene was trying to show. Anyway, congratulations, you have, you have unlocked a few character descriptions. Click the second tab at the top of the screen to view them. The more you progress, the more characters' description you unlock. Descriptions of characters in upcoming hours will also be given. These descriptions explain the mechanics and attacks of each character. So if you're having trouble to be sure if, to give all the character profiles a read. Okay, let's check it out. Ah, so this guy's Teela. So I shouldn't have just stood stood still then. I didn't hear growling though, so that was very confusing. 
Tila is the Tai Chula character of the Tila Land Park. Uh, his character is depicted as a grey dragon with a jester outfit. Him, along with the others, were constructed by David Artel. He is one of the many lurable threats that lurk the underground facility, and one of the first to activate. Oh, okay. Within each hour, he will try to make his way towards the main hall, and then to one of the, the keyholes. Upon his arrival, do not stay in the same room, or stay in a keyhole for too long to avoid getting attacked. He is the slowest to lure out of all the... If the lure stays t still for too long within Teela's range, Teela will proceed to infect the lure, forcing the player to use the firewall. Okay. Oh, we got Willow. Willow is an ambient threat within the facility. Her character depicts a red and white wyvern, which I think is some sort of dragon from memory, I don't know, with a magician outfit. Ambient threats are unable to be lured, and their radar icons are depicted with a yellowish tint. It's not necessary to contain ambient threats in order to complete the hour. Alright. So this one, like Willow, I just ignore. Willow will regularly make her way into the hall to attack. She can go to the hall even if threats besides Teela are already there. When she arrives, she will laugh, and you will have a limited amount of time to go into the hall and stare at her in order to send her back. In addition to being unable to be lured, she will also never infect the lure. Okay, so she won't affect it. Oh, good. What the? I guess this is a new character we're going to be dealing with. Uh, Frill. Frill is a lurable threat within the facility. His character depicts a frilled lizard with knight's armor. Akin to Teela, he shares the same attack pattern. However, if you see him come up to, come up to you anywhere, keep staring back to prevent getting attacked. When Frill reaches either door, he will bang on the door until you look through the keyhole. He will not leave until this is done, making you more vulnerable to Willow if you choose to ignore her. He will always announce his arrival when he gets to the keyhole. Frill has the ability to infect the lore. Alright, this sounds difficult. So when he reaches out the door, he'll bang on the door until you look through the keyhole. So how long do I have to stare back? Anyway, let's go back then. Let's go into hour two and see what we can do. If you're in the hallway and you see an animatronic pause, pause before moving again to make sure no threats come immediately after. Contain Teela. Okay, so I gotta get Teela too. Is that Teela? Okay, that's Teela. Okay, so that's Teela. At least we know that now.
Pokemon. No, he disappeared. Yes! Nice! Hour 2 complete. Okay, we're making good progress this time. <laughs> Alright, I'm starting to understand the game a little bit now. Okay, okay, I get it. His machines have far greater potential than what they were made for. Sitting in this facility, rotting away. I will put them back together. Interesting. So he's gonna put them back together. It looks like we can try and go for the lowest current total time, I guess. We can try and go for the least time. Okay, so next we have Tacy, who we're also going to have to lure next. Tacy is a lurable threat within the facility. Her character depicts a triceratops with a, mi with a mimes outfit. She says most of her behavior with frill, but she is much quieter, making her harder to detect when she is near. Ooh. She is defended against the same way as frill. Like frill, she will not leave until she is looked at, making you more vulnerable to Willow's attack. When she arrives at the keyhole, she will emit muted servo sounds. Okay. This is an interesting fan game though. Let's check out the perks. Okay, rank one perks, two each for these. Okay, I don't need that. This one's obvious. Uh, longer low infection cooldown. After using firewall. What does that mean? Increased speed of map doors opening. Max health. Max health would help a lot. Lose range of view. Movement speed. Lower infection cooldown. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna like save up for this or something. I don't know. But I've, before I... So before ending the video, I think I'm gonna put this total time down on this one. Because we can, so why not? Anyway. Speed run time. We're speed running, boys. Let's go, boys and girls. We're already nearly done with this level. Let's keep going. Make it to the end. Yeah. Okay. That's that. Done. Look at that. Brought the total time to 287. 31 seconds, guys. Let's go. I brought that time, com time completely down. Alright. 108 for this. 148 for this. I could also drop this one down, but we're going to leave hour three for the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, stick around for more content, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.